طلاب العربية طالبات العربية أهلا وسهلا بكم في درس جديد من المنحة وهو الدرس التاسع عشر وهو ودرسنا اليوم عن الجذر والوزن الجذر هو ما يسمونه بالروت سيستم والوزن is the pattern the form so الجذر في العربية هو أصل الكلمة is really the root of the word where the word is derived from الوزن قالب الكلمة وصيغتها is actually the mold or the form within which the word fits عندنا هنا مثال دارسة so the root that we're working from is dal ra si look at the words that we have here and you will see that the three letters of da dal ra seen are repeated in these words yet each one of them has a different form or a different mold within which it, it works so darsun that's fa'lun madrasatun maf'alatun dirasatun fi'alatun ila akhirih and notice this is very important that basically what you do is you take fa'ala as a form by which you measure other words now you're not concerned about the meaning of fa'ala in these cases you're looking at it basically to say this is my mold, this is how to recognize it. How do you form this mold? You look at the root and you see that the del, which is the first cardinal of the three, the first part of the three part root, is assigned a fa. The ra is assigned the ain. The seen is assigned the lam. And then you add the rest of the word to get the form and the pattern. So in dar sun, what we have is the voweling. So we added the voweling, so we have fa'lun. But in madrasatun, we have two additional parts, the meme in the beginning, and also the ta at the end. We replaced darasa with fa'ala. We added the meme, the tamarbuta, and then we put the voweling of the word. Actually, if you think of the word madrasa, it's a noun of place in Arabic. It indicates the place where the root happens. For example, maktaba is a library, a place where you keep the books and where you read, right? So by looking at these forms, you can actually tell sometimes what the form is for. A noun, a noun of place, a noun of time, etc. فالجذر يحتوي على المعنى الأساسي has the basic meaning of the rule. الوزن دلالة إضافية للمعنى الأساسي adds a shade of meaning or a different denotation for the root. شكرا جزيلا على انتباهكم مرة أخرى وأراكم في المرة القادمة.